Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Fabiano Caruana and Boris Gelfand. This is a game from Chess Olympiad, played in Batumi, Georgia, in 2018. Fabiano Caruana had white pieces and he started with e4. Boris Gelfand played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, the standard move, knight to c6, and now bishop to b5, the Rosolimo attack. g6, bishop takes on c6, black to move, d takes on c6. Sometimes black recaptures with the b-pawn, but d takes on c6 is the most played move. d3, bishop to g7, h3, controlling g4 square. Knight to f6, knight to c3, and both players castle at king's side. Knight to e8, bishop to e3, b6, white to move, e5 was played. Queen to d2 is the most played move. e5, f6, rook to e1, knight to c7, queen to d2, f takes on e5. Black is a pawn up. Bishop to h6. Black to move. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Boris Gelfand sacrificed the exchange. White to move. Bishop takes on g7. If g takes on f3, then bishop to f6. And after king to g2, queen to d7. Back to our game. After rook takes on f3, Caruana played bishop takes on g7. King takes on g7, g takes on f3, bishop takes on h3. Ideally, black queen would like to land on g2. Rook takes pawn on e5, e6, rook to g5. Very interesting maneuver. The rook will defend his king from g3 and attack a black king on the same file. Queen to f6, rook to g3, bishop to f5, king to g2, h5, rook to h1, threatening rook takes pawn on h5, the pawn on g6 is pinned. Rook to h8, white to move. Knight to e4, attacking the queen and allowing black to capture the pawn on b2, and this is what happened. The queen takes on b2, queen to f4, attacking the knight, knight to d5, attacking the queen, queen to d6, black to move, e5, allowing queen takes on c6. Caruana played rook to h4, queen to d4, and white must be careful. King to g1. Let's play a random move. a3. How would you continue this position if you had black pieces? Then knight to f4 check. And after king moves somewhere to, let's say, to h1, then queen takes queen on d6. And after knight takes on d6, king to f6 and black would enjoy very good endgame. Back to our game. King to g1, out of the range of the knight. Rook to f8, let's take it back. Queen to a1 check, accomplishes nothing. Then king goes to h2. Back to our game. Rook to f8 was played. Why to move and to play the obvious. And the move is rook takes pawn on h5. The pawn on g6 is pinned. Bishop takes knight on e4. White to move. How would you recapture the bishop? Caruana played the queen to d7. Check. If f takes on e4, then queen takes pawn on f2. Check. And after king to h1, check and black is winning 
after say king to h2, rook to f2, check, and after rook to g2, queen takes and g2, check, mate. Back to our game. Caruana played. Queen to d7, check. King to f6. Queen takes pawn on c6, check. King to g7. Queen to d7, check. King to f6. F takes on e4. This is okay now, because black king is blocking his own rook, and there is no queen to f2, check. The game continued. Knight to f4. White to move. And in this position, Caruana played very cool move. And the move is rook to f5, check. Pawn takes rook, the only move. Queen takes pawn on f5, check. King to e7, white played the move and black resigned. And the move is rook to g7, check. Gelfand resigned in view of this continuation. King to e8. Queen to c8 check. Queen to d8. Queen to c6 check. Queen to d7. Queen takes queen. Check, mate. This was an awesome performance by Fabiano Caruana. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.